Everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Hades. Can I tell you something? We played a little Hades on stream yesterday. Um, I won my run. I didn't buy anything. Don't freak out. I didn't buy anything, okay? Go ahead. New pack to punishment. Whatever you say. What else you got? Look at that. Better golden urns. Look at me. I am the captain now. We do want better infernal troves for sure. Anytime I look at Orpheus, I know it's a, a lady holding a, a harp, but it looks like a weird slug. Not to be insulting. Okay, so where are we going here? Well, I, we have this four streak going on. My personal uh, opinion right now. Hold on, hold on. One conversation with Dusa. How about first you take one of these? And uh, then call me in the morning. That might not be how that works, but okay. Um, so I, I think we should crank up the heat even further. You know, I'm like, oh, hold on. 50 free gems. 10 Titans blood. What on earth did we do to earn 10 Titans blood? Do we, maybe we beat uh, the game once with every weapon? So I'm just going to crank on this for a bit. We can't do that yet. Sounds good to me. Took us down to literally zero here. Um, I, I think we should crank the heat up to like four or five, to be honest. I know we had an absolutely awful five heat run, but let's see what our different aspects here are. Spin attack is replaced with punishing sweep. Once struck by your... Spo no, no, no. After your special, you can retrieve your spear with raging rush. Punishing Sweep must be that Hades attack. I don't want to spend all of our Titan's blood. L let's start with the Achilles aspect. And I'll, I'll spend a little on it. Not much, but a little. After your special, you can retrieve your spear with Raging Rush. Alright. Seems cool. What do we have for Keepsake? Right now we got the Tooth. We don't want to stick with the tooth. Honestly, give me the chaos. I love the chaos boon, dude. Um, so, fill heat gauge to two. We're going to go a little further than that. We're going to take middle management off because it's a little scary. So, here's what we're going to do. Foes are stronger. Yeah, HP benefit, not as good. More foes. Hold on. I don't really like life total. Traps deal more damage. Foes have one instance of a shield. Okay, that's where we're going with this one. We, I gotta get revenge for my five heat failure. So why am I doing this if we don't get extra bounties, as, as uh, Zagreus just said? Because I'm not a coward, and I want you to know it. We're trying to keep the game interesting for ourselves. Right out the gate. A much stronger attack. With a critical hit chance. You know what I would love to see? Daedalus Hammer, Fury Jab. And by Fury, I mean Flurry. But hey, at least I know the names of some of the mechanics now, huh? Can I tell you something? I do not mind... Enemies blocking the first instance of damage when we can just hit Y on them right out of the gate. Not a big deal for me. I'm loving life so far. I'm feeling good. I'm having a great time with Hades. And learning a lot more about the game. It's a little bit more nuanced than originally I might have anticipated. You look at a roguelite that has a, a set slash guaranteed boss. On every floor and you might think there's not enough variety. I dispute this notion. And I think, honestly, I think 2020 is the year of Hades, dude. Don't mind if I do. Um, I don't really like getting the Faded Authority over the max HP in this situation, but we do need Chthonic Keys for unlocks. So, hello? I'll take it. I'll take advantage of that for the time being. Um, I, I think, honestly, my personal opinion of Hades, 
notwithstanding. I think in 2020, when this exits early access, is gonna exit early access as one of the most critically acclaimed roguelites ever. And I understand. NL, recency bias, recency bias. I watched a YouTube video essay that talked about recency bias recently, and that's my own recency bias, but still, it's gotta be known. Does he know about the recency bias? I've heard of it. I'm telling you, you, you can take it to the bank. You can take it to the blood bank. Senator Trent. Um, that's a Steven Seagal quote. Anyway, give me the max HP for now. I'm disappointed as of yet, no extra boons, but I, I've I've learned through uh, through play so far, which is the best way to learn anything, that uh, max HP I was heavily underrating. Four max HP basically equals a death's defiance. I also learned from uh, chat, this is a couple days ago, but that the spear is valuable, not just because of the throw and the aspects and the, the et cetera's and the et cetera's. Um, let me just see what we got here. Let's see. I will spend, just because upgraded... Uh, we should have messed with the gems with Faded Authority. Um, but that the spear is really valuable uh, in particular because of its spin dash attack. So you charge up a... You charge up a little spin attack. Then you run in there, that hurt, and uh, get it out. Something like this. It's going to take us a little bit of time to, you know, get it all together. But once we get it, dude. Look at that. Uh, that was some serious damage. I think it also gets the Artemis uh, benefit because of the fact that it's, it's basically our primary attack. Okay, Athena or Shop. We will definitely go Athena here. Anyway, I didn't really finish my train of thought, but I, I think Hades is poised. Not that it's not well liked already, because obviously it is, but... I think it's poised to be like one of those truly special, well-respected roguelites. Because, you know, I said the same thing, or I said similar about Slay the Spire, but I think Slay the Spire, people who love it, love it. But it is a harder game to appreciate because it doesn't look as spectacular, you know, and it takes a long time to actually learn what you're doing, right? I do- the call is great, but I think I'd rather have the special for versatility reasons right now. Uh, and I, I think a pomegranate is fine. I'll roll with a pomegranate. I think, uh, Hades has some advantages in that it's extremely easy to like, you know? Like, it's a game, you don't have to have 500 hours in it to understand what's happening or to really truly appreciate it, so... Delicious. This is a tough one. I actually think we'd rather go just better uh, basic attack. With no Daedalus Hammer, here's the thing. We need Chthonic Keys, so I'm gonna hit you with an Altar on this one. Gems gives us uh, money, I think, so we'll, we'll just go Chthonic Keys for more Faded Authority. Alright. Easy room, but I'm not sure easy is good in this case. And we'll go more Chthonic Keys. I mean, you only get one per room, right? It's a, it's a freaking ripoff is what it is. Okay, this is a, a little bit spiced. Keep in mind, have we been hit a little? Oh, yes. But simultaneously, please note... Oh, my word. <laughs> please note... We got more enemies that are stronger. They block a little bit of damage. That's an alt-tab situation for sure. Oh, hold on. Something just popped up on the Windows side here. What did it say? It said low disk space. You know what you do there? You go... We don't have low disk space. What are you talking about? Hold on. Hold on. Hold the front door, okay? Because it's hitting me with a warning that doesn't make any sense. This is important because you don't want to run out of, you know, disk space mid-record. I think it's I think that's a vestige of an earlier time. Can I tell you that in all honesty? I think that's a vestige of an earlier time. But I'll keep watching to make sure it's actually recording. Because <laughs> it would be pretty bad uh, to run out. Okay, honestly, hit me with the max HP. Basically, we're rolling a much hotter run here, is what I'm trying to say. 
But yeah, I think uh, I think 2020 is the year of Hades. That's the way I see it so far, at least. I'm, oh, how did we not get hit by a trap that does 400% damage? I appreciate it either way. Enemies, very, very strong, very tanky. You know what? Why not send a couple of casts in, make your life easier? We haven't improved our cast yet. That's because we haven't had a Dionysus boon. <laughs> so we could get Festive Fog. Am I right, fellow gamers? Hey, we don't always take Festive Fog. We just usually take Festive Fog. Single enemy, no worries, dude. Hmm. Oh, a trove to get 50 gems. I don't really care about the gems. I know you, you probably should because it would speed up our, you know, process here. But it uh, doesn't really interest me, to be honest, to, to pick up these gems. <clears throat> this is a survival room. 45 seconds. So, you know, with, uh, with heat being high keep ourselves just relatively safe occasionally throw in uh, a spear not really trying to ice anybody but like when it happens it, it is oh don't we sorry I think I've, I've messed up slightly we get a huge damage bonus after we retrieve our spear right so we should really be initiating with that in like all circumstances I was wondering, because like when I was just mashing X, I was, when I came back from that alt-tab situation, I was like, that doesn't seem like I'm, I'm as strong as I was before. On this one, I'm like, dude, we're crushing it. That went extremely well. You have also leveled up my uh, attack damage, and the maybe not the crit chance, but the attack damage nonetheless. So this should be just before the boss. We got enough gold to purchase a boon. I think we want Daedalus Hammer, though, um, to try to get Flurry Jab. This is a tough one for me personally, okay? I'm gonna... I wanted both of the other ones. In particular, a bouncing special seems pretty good with this. Um, but uh, I, I went with the... I, I want to use the spin attack more, and we needed it for the prophecy anyway, so... Go ahead. I'm just telling you, one of these days... I'm gonna figure out what you do, okay? Everything's going fine. But it's not going fine because I understand what's happening. <laughs> it's going fine because, you know, you just press the A button when you think you're in danger. Okay, so here's my game plan. It's a very simple game plan. It's not a game plan that's going to require... A lot of thought, honestly. It largely revolves around three buttons. You press X, you press, or sorry, you press Y, you press Y again to retrieve the spear, and then you press X to just mash as much bonus damage as possible, and she's gonna be dead. So I would describe this at present as mission accomplished, and honestly, I'm loving the Achilles aspect so far. I think it's doing incredible work for us. So, like, I don't really think that, like, five heat is that hard right now. I think it, the reason it was hard for us on the, the run where we totally screwed it up was just because of the time limit. All right, so the Chaos Boon is not doing much for us right now. <laughs> but we're going to keep it anyway, okay? I, I believe in its abilities. I also didn't even think about it, but we totally could have gone for the Infernal uh, Trove. Or not Infernal Troves, but the in, 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 for Infernal Gates. Because of the fact that we have... Uh, ooh. Aphrodite bonus. Long I think you need Nectar, too. So this is a big one for me. Um, but because of the fact that we have 5 heat. Now, we can't do it here because I think you need 10. But See, like, you're very lucky that Column exists. A single enemy, not a, ooh, not a problem, is the thing. We do so much concentrated damage to a single foe. 
I, I heard your comments out there. You were saying NL took the Daedalus hammer bonus for spin attack, but he never spins. How's that for a freaking spin, dude? Easy room. Give her some nectar, because I think we don't have her uh, trinket yet. Keepsake, sorry. Trinket is a proprietary word of the uh, Binding of Isaac Corporation, LLC. Your attack deals more damage and inflicts weak. I really don't want to lose the Artemis benefit. I'm going to take Dying Lament, and I, it's going to be a, a controversial choice. We definitely want a Hermes boon here. It's going to be a controversial choice because of the fact that, uh, you know, it was heroic, which is great, and it was a huge damage bonus, and we have not uh, ever had it before. So it, it had, like, a lot of stuff that would have been beneficial for us, admittedly, but I really don't want to... lose this Artemis bonus, because I think that the, the crit chance is something that gets, you know, it gets better as your damage gets better. I mean, so does, a, I guess, a proportional increase in damage, like, on a literal level. But, uh, wow, that was unwise. This is a real spiced one. I really don't want to lose a Death's Defiance this early. Okay, hold on. Let's see what he's got. I'll take a faster special. I don't think it matters too, too much for us, but it is at the epic tier. I'm gonna... Okay, so I, here's the thing. I will lose a Death's Defiance to, to get this room accomplished, if it has to happen that way. We can always get another Death's Defiance at some point throughout the game. We can have the Tooth um, and, and give me the Artemis boon here. This is a tactical... This is a tactical uh, risk for us. I do expect to die. And I forgot above all else, the Athena enemies are so freaking annoying because of the deflect. Yep, that's not only fair, but like expected. You know what I'm hoping to see here is the uh, Athena Deflect Dash. I actually think that might be one of the most, like, overpowered uh, boons in the game. Please, stop with the AoE damage. I'm begging you. I rely on getting close despite my weapon having poke ability. That's a there's your there's your ticket right there. We're hitting them. Whoa, careful. Good deflect. You catch him with one of these. There you go. It's over for you. And we lived, sort of. Please give me deflect dash. I have no complaints. Okay. We're gonna replenish our death's defiance. And also, uh, it have it make us impervious for two seconds. I think, all things considered, that's our best option. So basically, we got the Artemis boon for free. So there is a Chaos Gate here. I hate this room. Ah, but without... Um, hold on. I don't hate this room. Because without um, middle management, this room is not nearly as bad. Middle management makes it so the Medusa has to teleport constantly. And by has to, I mean, I guess, chooses to. Um, and it's horrible. The regular version of this fight? Not that bad. Much better than, than the barge, I think, which is the alternative. And we have a Chaos Gate here. Should we take a Chaos Gate? It will... Well, we have no penalty for taking the Chaos Gate. Because of the boon, right? So we'll be okay, maybe? <laughs> um, 
a lot of this is pretty sick, but I am gonna I'm gonna try taking a, a, a good crit cast here. Yeah, we don't take damage, but we're gonna have some negatives. I would like to keep all of my abilities here, but let's see let's see what's available. Absolutely not the top one. Um, okay. I'm going to take bonus damage. Can I alter one of these, please? I'll alter the gems. Keys. We do need keys, so I'll do it. But yeah, we, we do want more max HP as well. So we take more damage, which is bad. But we're already, like, to be honest with you, fairly likely to die anyway. So... You know, if, if we're going to take 20 damage per hit, then we're going to take 20 damage per hit. I'm just... You know, I think most of the time, you do benefit from playing real quick in this game. Uh, we're, we're putting that theory to the test. Okay, get over here. There you go. So here's our new strat. We're playing, we're playing dump and chase hockey. Like the Canucks before they started winning games this season. We're throwing our deflect shield into the mix. And then we're pulling the or, uh, spear, I should say. And then we're pulling it back. And then we're pulling it back. I don't know. I don't think I should be here. I'm gonna tell you, I was of the opinion, perhaps, that our uh, deflect special was bad. Doesn't seem too bad right now. Now, is this the the way we want to be taking these fights? By and large, no. Oh. By and large, no. But we've done it. We lived, which is a big surprise. We were really, really hoping to get some uh, the ability to purchase some HP out of that, but it is what it is. So we're going to go to the shop basically to buy food to preserve Death's Defiance. That's, that's my game plan right now. There is some for sale, thankfully. Cheers, mate. We, we were definitely hurt more on this floor. But that's okay. So again, you take more damage on this floor, or on the, for the next few encounters. So definitely try not to get hit. But at the same time, recognize your strength here. What's your strength? The bonus damage you get after you land the, the spear recovery. Good work. Then, sp I was going to say spread them. That's not what I meant. What I meant is keep moving. <laughs> spread them has different connotations. Don't forget about the efficacy. Of your, uh... Of your spin moves. There's some real advantages there. You gotta... You gotta enjoy! <laughs> Okay, realistically, that was that was horrible. Realistically, I would expect to lose a death's defiance here. One one hit will lose that death's defiance. So we got to be real cautious, you know, grab this food. Now two hits probably. We don't have a great dash setup here. Like we only have one dash is really what I mean to say. One dash is not enough to be stoked about. Or, sorry, two dashes, but still. So we're just trying to stay... You know, really, like... Conservative play is gonna... Is gonna ru uh, rule the day for us here. If we can manage to make it happen. If it takes us longer than usual, it takes us longer than usual. I wouldn't mind 
actually landing the spin attack now and then. There we go. Good stuff, dude. Probably don't use your call against an enemy that doesn't take damage. It's okay. This is a bit by bit. You know, like that Chicago song. Minute by minute by minute by... You know. Wait, that's... The, sorry, that's the Doobie Brothers. My mistake. Don't I look like a fool? What a fool believes. Another Doobie Brothers song. Okay, good. I like it when you don't shoot at me. And instead you do this useless attack. Because then I just sneak in there and then... You're pro I was just going to say you're going to go impervious for a minute there. Yo, the dash attack, legitimately very nice right now. This is the first time I think I've ever said that on a run. It's breaking shields and it's breaking hearts. Okay, don't forget, you know, you gotta cast. It might not be the, the most valuable cast you've ever seen, but... <laughs> it's doing something. Okay, great. Good work, good work, dude. You know my eternal philosophy. If we can get out of this fight, especially in this situation we found ourselves in, without using a, a Death's Defiance, which is still up in the air. But if we can get out of this without losing a Death's Defiance, like... It's a dream come true. Even if we lose a Death's Defiance, the run still, like, is pretty steady. I'm not too worried about our immediate survival. Long term, I have no idea. But this is... I mean, we've, we've done the impossible. We've managed to make the Bone Hydra fight interesting. Go ahead. Yo, yo, let's go. Five heat bone hydra. No? We're riding the waves. We're going up and down. <laughs> How many more rooms on this chaos effect? Do I think we got one? Okay. You can just walk into Elysium. I'm, I'm, you know, to be honest, we probably do want to switch off the chaos problem now. Uh, and maybe try, uh... Who, do, who would we like a benefit from? Honestly... I, I would like a Poseidon benefit. Because I, I think getting a Poseidon call... It, you don't have any just raw HP, huh? We'll, we'll take the non-raw HP. Um, I think the Poseidon call is, uh, is something that would be very beneficial for us on the tunnels. But for now, life's good, dude. Better than expected, even. There's our Poseidon benefit. We we have been a little not going after gold on this floor, and perhaps more importantly, no max HP on the uh, on the previous floor. I think is put us a little behind the eight ball in that regard. I just I'm. <laughs> So nervous about our HP. I'm just trying to. Do you see the deflect there? It had to happen at the last possible second. Good enough. This this room was fine. It's not over yet, apparently. Really, really smart move after handling things pretty well. Why, with a bow and arrow, would you get close to me? You should know. I'm, I'm unstoppable. At range, you might be able to pop me once. Up close and personal, best of luck to you. Okay, we've purged the chaos negative, which means our cast is stronger. It was already pretty okay. We did get the call, which is exactly what we asked for, which is pretty sick. I'm still going for boons. 
No, you know what? I think we got a winnable run. Don't screw it up. Go max HP instead. It's all part of my new found philosophy, which is to actually use strategy instead of just heuristics. You know, a heuristic is like, oh, this is the best possible thing for us, so it must be the best possible thing at all times. I no longer believe that. Now I, I recognize, you know, there's a time and a place. 843 damage. Send them. I really thought that would get him. It's okay. We're, we're doing really well on HP. Um, well, we're doing better on HP because we've got all these hamburgers dropping. Patties, 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 patties. Rocking everywhere. Appreciate the max HP. Don't really care about the darkness here. Not the band, you know, they had a couple of serious bops. Um, so we, we are going to take the Chaos Gate option, but we want Hermes to give us more dashes. Mm -hmm. No punishments. I apologize for drinking so much coffee, dude. I don't love these, but I think, I think that is pretty good, to be honest. Uh, we do have to drink for the fountain. It's just, it's one of those coffees, you know, it came with ice as a result. Uh, it never ends. The, the faster I drink it, the faster the ice melts. Thanatos. Bring me Thanatos! Are we fast enough to get through this? Because foes are armored, might be a touch touchy. Ah, he got him, dude. I think we gotta pick our battles is what it really comes down to. No, I want that one. <laughs> Please don't. This one's mine, though. It's close. It's a close one. It's not really fair when you do that huge AoE strike on the only enemies that are killable in, like, a reasonable time frame. The thing is, don't sweat it too much, because all you're getting out of this is... Oh, he's, he's gonna beat me. He's gonna, he's gonna beat me. Accept it. Take your Daedalus Hammer. Congrats. Enjoy yourself. And we... I think we... Oh, but I don't know. Extra critical chance on recovery? Yeah. I, th I think we do want that. I think that, that feels like it scales nicely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You beat me. Congrats. Ha, 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 ha. Not like I made the game harder on myself. Yeah. Let me have it. We'll try. Is it a spooky situation? Yeah, it's a spooky situation, okay? Take more damage, gold is worth more. <clears throat> take more damage. Not take more damage. Cannot collect gems. Life totals reduced, afterwards gain ammo. No, I think we just want... Just give me the straight up uh, extra cast damage. So we won't be able to recollect our cast ammo for a while. That strikes me as aggressively minor. I, oh my! Hey, I don't think we will suffer much as a result of this inability to pick up our cast for a bit. We do still want to use our cast as much as possible, don't get me wrong. Dude, if we could get... Isn't there a Daedalus Hammer ability that lets... I knew it was coming. Isn't there a Daedalus Hammer ability that lets your, uh, your spin attack charge faster, but do less damage or something? That's where I'm at right now. I'm like, I could really use something along those lines for AoE purposes. I can't believe we're not even done with this room. We not, might not even be close to being done with this room. This should do it, though. OK, 
Okay, this should not do it. But it'll get us closer. Send them. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Effect diminish. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. I understand your, your concern there. Um, we definitely do want to do this, I think. Could use the, I'll, I'll take the HP for free. I definitely... Like, I'm feeling the effects of the heat. But I think this is like where I want the difficulty to be. Because for a while we found ourselves, in my opinion, in a situation where the only time there was any strife was on Hades. So I appreciate having the hard mode option here instead. Okay, please yeet this guy as soon as possible. Thank you, thank you. How much, how much did we get? Like 10? 22 HP! That's so bad! Oh well. Um, yeah, give me the nectar. <clears throat> okay, these guys. How did that make it through? You learned a very valuable lesson against these enemies. I'm very scared, by the way. Specifically because we have not had our mini boss encounter here yet. That felt pretty solid. Uh, are you respawning? I didn't even know you would you were dead yet. Oh, careful. Um yeah, our mini boss encounter on this floor can really be, uh, you know, it, it can be make or break city. Even just encountering a butterfly, as you can see right here, a little bit annoying. We do have range. As one with range, we should not fear as much. You gotta love that. And, dude, I can't tell you how much I would love to ride the lightning on this run. Get a uh, a five heat win. I understand five. I was on the, the Hades subreddit yesterday. People are talking about, eh, the game doesn't really get hard until 22 heat. Yeah, well, how many Forza Eliminator wins do you have? You know, I'm a variety streamer. I'm not like other streamers. I'm a cool streamer. I play multiple games. I, I can't be expected to be triple S tier at every single one of them. I'll settle for, you know, double S tier at most of them. With the occasional triple S. Freaking butterflies, dude. Okay, thank you for the nectar. Good stuff. Upgraded. Our dash attack dealing damage. Pomegranate. We don't have a choice, so... Uh, we, we are getting dangerously close to using our second Death's Defiance. You gotta be cautious on this one. I mean, one hit will kill you, right? So, of course you gotta be cautious. Basically, just hang back. I will say, it's not the chaos boons that are causing us the problem. They're, they're not helping on these dangerous situations. But they're not the, the real cause of our of our danger here either. I love these enemies, even though occasionally I feel like the deflect gets a little wonky. These guys are like as close to freebies as we get down here. Thanks to the deflect special, which I never thought I would be saying, but Okay, it's all about space. <laughs> 
Like a Neil deGrasse Tyson show. It's all about space. I feel like this is not the way you want to play Hades usually. Most of the time, you probably benefit from being a little bit on the aggressive side. But this ain't most of the time. Careful. This ain't your granddad's Hades run. Oh, I saw the arrow and it very nearly ruined my existence, dude. I am... I'm stunned that we managed to make that happen. Thanks for the power-up. Um, any one of those... Insufficient storage available on storage device? Retry? I'm not even messing with you, dude. Like, I'm going to my... I'm going to my hard drive. Oh, can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? <clears throat> I thought, and you're going to love this, I thought that it said there were 16 gigabytes remaining. There were 16 megabytes remaining. That's a big difference, dude. So here's what we're going to do for now. We're going to... How, how are we doing now? Four megabytes. That's pretty bad. So we're gonna... How does this happen? Because it's the SSD. I've been downloading freaking Twitch clips onto it. Recycling bin, please. Can I please have access to my bin of recycling? And then empty that. And then uh, I apologize. But he, he, this is where we're at, Okay. One point nine three gigabytes. You can make it. I believe in your ability. I mean, we're gonna, probably gonna die soon anyway. So excellent. Excellent. <laughs> uh, get that mouse pointer off the screen, brother. Okay, we definitely want to shop, save our lives, and we will take a Poseidon boon. Yes. I don't think it's incredible, but I think it's it's at least worth something. Did we fight the mini boss? Maybe we missed it by going to the chaos path. Hold on, we have no chaos penalty, which means our cast is actually good again. Now, full disclosure, this is going to be a touchy one. I think the most important gift I can give myself is the gift of not... What are you doing there? Is the gift of not trying to deflect Hades' spear with my special. Great stuff, dude. Okay, you know how this works. Minotaur... We're getting up close. And personnel. I'm actually... I'm going to revise my opinion. I think we might be lucky just to live through the fight. That lo losing one death's defiance is guaranteed. Without being what might be perceived as overly pessimistic. Yep. I w you saw the Salamanca lip there. You knew we were getting in tight. But it's okay. This is a, it's a learning exercise for one. And I think the last couple of seconds on this fight have been pretty positive for us, actually. 
How dare you? Ruin my greater call with your invincibility. Just, it just hit him a couple of times, brother. Okay. You might be able to make it out of this with a Death's Defiance intact. <laughs> Not a good start. Just make get behind them. Come on, dude. Okay, I think this is a, a situation where patience is a virtue. It's gonna take a bit. But I feel like there's no real reason we shouldn't be able to make something happen on this one. One HP, huh? Excuse me? Excuse me? What what hit me? Oh, maybe that hit me. Focus on this one. I still believe this run is not over yet. I am loving... Oh, just send it, dude. Terrible. You know what? We Things fell apart at the end for us there, but that was a fun 5 heat run. I had a good time regardless. I think we learned a valuable lesson. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to go clear out some hard drive space, and I'll see you next time. See ya! I'll see ya.